The reason why she ain't letting me see that young nigga is because she telling that old nigga, she still with the old nigga to this day, y'all. She still with the old nigga to this day. You telling that old nigga that this his baby. Gang, man, stand up, man. I need y'all to like this video. Make sure y'all go follow me on all my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check the description for it. You already know how we stepping out here, man. We ain't ducking nothing. We got the topics. Dope Boy TV gang, we done landed in Memphis today, and we got to talk about finesse two times. And he basically went on Instagram live to tell a story, and this is a story I really connect with. Now he's talking about one of his ex girlfriends who had a baby on him, and he was taking care of the baby, you know, trying to be a stand up father and things of that nature. And you know, I just want to say, when you're dealing with somebody, you know, and they stab you in the back and they just, you know, betray your trust. Especially when they act like they're the most loyalist person in the world. And that's where it's like for all the young men. Y'all got to remember that girls cry and lie. If you get what I'm saying. They're sitting in your face crying, lying. And at the same time, you got to be, you know, enough knowledgeable to know when she's fibbing or telling the truth. Straight up. Because at the end of the day, it could be detrimental to yourself. You know, your mental and things of that nature. Because at the end of the day, when you put your trust and genuinely love somebody and they trade on you and basically get at and return it to somebody else, when they're sitting there lying to you, making it seem like they're so loyal and they're just down for you and you're the only one, you know, it really hurts deep inside, even if men don't want to say it. And that's what Finesse Two Times was talking about. So I'm going to let y'all hear. He is. I pack my shit. Guess where I go? Back to the trap. Back to the trap house. I'm back in the nasty with it. I'm back in the nasty with it. <laughs> I ain't gonna even put that on live. I'm on a blow up mat, dog. While the getting cooked and the packs in and out, I'm on a blow up mat. But I'm 23 now. I ain't just no no slouch no more. Like I'm. I got a hustle about me, so I'm keeping, you know, I'm keeping a couple bands on me. I'm, I'm, I'm maintaining, but I still rather sleep on the on the floor, though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm all the way out the nasty with it. You know what I'm saying? You said I'm pausing so much, cause it was 10, 11 years ago. Let me think about it. See, motherfucker, like you automatically think a nigga lying just because you don't like a nigga, but you on my live. I'ma tell you like I just told the lad y'all. Tell your baby mama, your auntie, your bitch, or your grandma to come get her a bite of hibachi on the 10th floor and she can eat some. All right, quit interrupting me, man, while I'm going, man. So look, the whole time, I go back to jail, y'all. I go back to jail, y'all. I go back to jail for the, for the shit out in Arkansas. Boom. I go back to the jailhouse. This time I go fed. Hold up. Did that bitch get pregnant then? Dylan. Dylan should be six, seven years old. I went to the feds when I was 25. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look, she had a boy before I go to the field. He was three months, matter of fact. Matter of fact, three weeks. He won three months. He was three fucking weeks. And I went to jail. Long story short, I'm finna pass all this shit. I'm sending money from jail. I'm in, I'm in. I'm in jail rocking and rolling. Anybody that was locked up with me, anybody, anybody that was locked up with me in the feds at FCI Memphis, ask them who had the compound on lock for the K2 sheet. Ask them. They'll tell you. Ask them who was going ham. Ask them, ask them who put everybody out of business. Me. Ask them who had all the butcher knives. Ask them who had me. Ask them if anybody ever took anything from me. Ask them if anybody ever bought me for anything. I right, then, my niggas who's in the feds know.
that were around me know. They know. I ain't no never. I was the one rocking and rolling. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm sending money home to the beach, man. I'm talking about not no little shit. I'm sending three, four, five thousand a week to the crib for my boy. Making sure her bills paid. Making sure my boy fresh. Making sure he looking good from the jail house. And you got niggas in the streets that won't even take care of their kids. You see what I'm saying? You got niggas in the streets won't even take care of their kids. I'm sending three, four, five thousand dollars a week, and it's just to one child. Y'all tell me I came home with $182,000 on my book. You see what I'm saying? See, there's a lot of shit y'all don't know about me because I don't even not get on here and talk about it. But my mouth, I'm done. I'm done being quiet. I done took the zip off. Because get what? Y'all showing me. Y'all showing me that silence is a form of agreement. Being quiet. It's basically like a motherfucker telling the truth about you. If you don't speak on it, everybody gonna take the story and run with it and put their own little shit with it. And now here we go, everybody believing all this shit about you. You see what I'm saying? So guess what? We ain't finna do that. It's up from now on. So boom, I'm taking care of all my kids from jail. You can ask Pooh, you can ask Didi, you can ask all they motherfuckers. Man, I'm in the Western Union's out in Sun Green Dodge. Anyway, man, I go to the shoe special housing unit. That's what it stands for. S-H-U. I go to the shoe. I fall. The police kick my door in. Boom, about the K2 shit. I go to the hole. I just remember I speak German fast. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, uh, I go to the shoe. This off topic, man, I end up doing 14 months in the shoe, y'all. 14 months on 23 hour, 23 hour lockdown. I'm in that gym, 14 months. And everybody that was in the shoe with me can vouch for it. I was in the shoe eight months. They designated me to Atlanta. I spoke been going to Atlanta. As soon as they designated me and told me I was going to Atlanta, 18 hit, the government shut down, one, no planes moving, one, no transportation. I got stuck in the shoe another six, seven months before the government opened back up. I'm really one of them ones, man. I really went through it. Like, I really went, but I, never mind. That's a whole nother story. Long story short, now CC done broke bad on me, y'all. Now that I'm in the shoe, I can't send no more money to the crib. I ain't no more love. She done went on. She's still with this old man. Now, mind you, she's still with this old I'm 26, 27 at the time. I met her when I was 21. And she was with the old nigga when I was 21. I'm 27, 28 at this time, y'all. So she's still dealing with this. All right, I don't give a f Cause I'm rocking and rolling. I got shit going anyway. F you in that old ass, pamper wearing ass. So boom, I get to Atlanta. I try to make our relationship right for my son. Cause this the only boy that I got. This the only boy that I supposedly have. Let me bag up a little bit. While I'm in the shoe, right? I'm, I was so blinded by love and loyalty from this girl, right? That I never sat back and thought, like, hold on. I done had a whole, matter of fact, I skipped something that y'all need to hear. When we was at that house, when, when she had that baby after them three weeks, check this right here, fly shit out. I get to the hospital. I get to the hospital. Now, we didn't discuss three, four different names about naming Dylan, about naming my son. I get to the hospital. I get to the hospital room because I was on the road. I was doing shows back then. I was charging 7500 10000 for shows and shit back then. You see what I'm saying? I was going straight in. I was my first hit. That's why I be telling you talking about who put me on. Who... Man, I've been dropping hits since anyway. I get to the room. I'm like, damn, where you at? She like, oh, they went to wash them off. I said, I said, okay. So I can feel like the room was dry. You got her, her mama, you got her sister, you got her other sister, they in here. So I feel the room kind of dry. I'm like, I try to break the silence. I'm like, so what you name him? Dylan. Dylan. 
Man, I ain't never heard of that name. We ain't never discussed that. We ain't, where that name come from? Like, she had a nerve to tell me. Do what she told me, y'all. My mama named him after her favorite character on The Young and the Restless. Funky bitch, this funky feet dragging ass bitch had a nerve to tell me Yo mama named him after her favorite character on the young and the restless. Now mind you, I'm still Blinded by this bitch love and loyalty. I'm still blinded by the loyalty that she gave me from five years ago when she ain't even loyal no more. But that goes to show you that if a motherfucker girl for me, you can do a little bit for me. I'm one of them type of niggas. You can do a little bit for me and I'm going to do a lot for you. You can do a little bit. That's how blind I get when I see love and loyalty. You do a little bit for me, I do a lot for you. That's just how it is with me. A motherfucker can't fuck with you. So anyway, hold on, y'all. I ain't done. Two days later, after she had a baby, right? Still young and dumb. I go to the house with her, y'all. I want to be with my boy. This is my only boy, my first boy. I go to the house with her. Don't you know out of nowhere, y'all? About 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, right? Now, man, y'all. I only seen this old through the window, heard his voice. I never came in contact with him because I've been having to shake him, right? All my life, I've been shaking him. It's 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. We laid up in the bed, sleep. I got big Drake on the table. This one motherfucker didn't even have a, the, the, the generation four, uh, the generation, the gen, the gen five, the gen five Draco, all black. The you weren't even having them just then. I heard boom, 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 boom. I know I'm on the run, so I'm like, damn, it's the police. I run to the front door. I look out the window. Man, I see a nigga look like Bernstein Burns, man, like with a little fro on his head. That nigga look just like Bernstein Burns, dog. I looks out the window. I'm like, what the f is this? I go back to the room. She was like, man, that's probably the old head. I said, oh, that's the old head. I grab the Draco off the dresser. I go to the door, swing the door open. I'm like, man, what's up, man? I swear to God, every time I watch Baby Boy and, and I see Tyrese come and G-check, I mean, and, G, and Snoop Dogg G-check Tyrese, I, this, I swear to God, like, it always reminds me of this situation. Man, I come to the door, I'm like, man, shit, what's up, my nigga? Like, who is you? This what the nigga did. The nigga looked at me, the nigga looked at that Drake, and did a bow face. His ass got the f on. He wasn't trying to see none of that young nigga shit, you hear me? Man, the nigga do a hundred and a half like a dude on Friday when he ran to the car. <laughs> <laughs> he get the jog into the car. So I'm standing on the porch now trying to make sure he ain't trying to go get no fight. Cause I'm finna do, I'm finna, if he go in the car and reach, do anything crazy, I'm finna go all the way up with it. He got in the car and pulled on off. So I'm like, man, goddamn, man. Man, you got the old nigga popping up. What he popping up like that for? Woo -woo. Man, that man tripping off of the chick, his bitch ass. He got me fucked up. He got me woo woo woo. Here I am again, blinded by love and loyalty. You see what I'm saying? I leave. I'm like, hell no. All right, now back to where I was at. I spoke on that incident because I'm going somewhere with all this. I spoke on that incident for a reason. 
I'm in Atlanta. I'm on my way home. This time right here, I'm on my way out the feds, y'all. I'm on my way out the feds, man. I'm finna come home and do the mother. I'm claiming my, I'm claiming dinner. I'm still claiming them. I never stopped claiming them. I never, I never abandoned them. I always even been seeing my mama. He go with my brothers. They, they kick shit. This, that, and the third day. You know what I'm saying? I never stopped claiming this boy. I get out the feds. Now, mind you, this bitch used to tell me that I wasn't going to be nothing. She used to tell me all that rap shit over for you. Oh, you had your chance with that rap shit. When you get out, this shit over. Oh, you need to be trying to find a job. You need to be trying to... Funky bitch. You super gremlin funky bitch. Counting me out. You funky bitch. You counting me out. So look. So look, bitch, count me out. I come home. Man, I shake the world. I shake the world, man. I shake life, man. You hear me? This super gremlin funky bitch, right? She let me see my son. I ain't gonna lie, she let me see the young the first couple months. Let me tell y'all when this bitch got sideways. When she seen me and Shug fall in love, and she knew that she, see, she thought I was still blind. She thought she still had me what she wanted me. When she seen me and Shug fall in love, and she seen that I was doing things, she done said it out her own mouth, it just fucked up that. The things that I wanted you to do for me, you doing for that bitch. Well, guess what? Guess what? Sugar was there. When I was having them mental breakdowns, when I, when people was being disloyal to me, and guess what? Sugar was there. You see what I'm saying? I, Sugar been brought ten times more than you ever have brought to the table. Me and Sugar been down there made a quarter million off OnlyFans. Oh, two videos. And guess who it came to? Big Father. You see what I'm saying? So motherfucker quit speaking on shoes. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I'ma go on and get to my point. I was getting my son, trying to get him. Man, I went like four or five months without seeing him, right? Still sending money, though. Still sending money, y'all. Still sending money and not even seeing them. You feel me? I'm still sending bread though. Last Christmas came. It was three weeks before Christmas break. She called me. She said, uh, I need $3,500 for Christmas. I said, that ain't no issue. I'll get you the $3,500. That ain't, that ain't no problem, but Excuse me. When I'm gonna see my son though? Oh, you can get him on Christmas break. You can, you can have him come down there with you on the whole Christmas break. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, I right, bet because my other kids live with me, and I need them to bond. I need them to know each other. I need them. I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying, get this family thing. She acting like it's all good. She acting like everything's straight. I send the thirty five hundred. Christmas break come. Shug said, babe, it's Christmas break. When you gonna get dinner? I said, you know what? I pick up the phone. I said, let me get my boy, man. I'm gonna go down there and get him. I call her. This super gremlin funky bitch say, oh, we gonna have to meet up at a park or somewhere and see him and bond with him at a park or something. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> so now it's deeper than it's deeper than what y'all think it is. Now at this point, it's time for me to really sit back and analyze what the f is going on. Now let me tell y'all something she told me before. I asked her. I said, how did the old nigga feel when you got pregnant? Guess what she told me, y'all? Guess how dumb I was, y'all? She said, 
Oh, he didn't know I was pregnant. I said, how he didn't know you were pregnant? You were big as shit. Like, you were big as... I hid it from him. I said, how the f*** you hide it? She said, I hid it with my robe. She said, I hid my whole pregnancy from him with my robe. The reason why she ain't letting me see that young nigga is because she telling that old nigga, she still with the old nigga to this day, y'all. She still with the old nigga to this day. You telling that old nigga that this is baby. That's what it is. But I was so blind, I couldn't see it. I was so blinded by loyalty and love. What I thought was loyalty and love that I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. You telling that old nigga that that's his son. I asked for a blood test, y'all. I ain't heard shit else from the bitch. I even offered for my mama to go swab. You don't even gotta see me. Let my mom, my mama got the same DNA. Let my mama go swab and swab the boy and let's get to the bottom of this shit. I ain't heard nothing else from her, y'all. So now everybody, oh, yo, real son, and even her. But see, guess what? She know I was quiet. She know I was quiet. Like, so she, so she was going to the internet bashing me. Oh, this don't even see his real son. Oh, he be telling me he take her. All my kids took her up. Ask Pooh. Ask the, the people who know my baby mama. My baby mamas. X is my kids took her up. When you see my kid, all they heard both rich down to the yeah, man, you looking real, everything clean, they socks, they underwear, they got underclothes, they, they face clean, they got nice earrings, real earrings, real. Yeah, my oldest daughter, I keep her flawless victory. I make sure she ain't got to worry about no n again her nothing. I make sure she ain't got to go ask no man, you got a daddy that's going to provide for you. You don't need no n You don't need no cousin, you don't need nobody, you, you don't need nobody but me. And I make sure she know that. You feel me? So, for this super gremlin funky bitch, they keep on speaking like I'm abandoning their young. Now, nah, bitch, you played. And I done peeped your bullshit out. Fuck you and that old. How about this?